Do you want to make the move to Anaheim but need a helpful guide before you buy a home here? I'm Monica, local resident and realtor here in Anaheim for about a decade. And today I'm giving you the ultimate guide for moving to Anaheim, California. From finding the perfect neighborhood to understanding the cost of living and knowing the best local attractions. By the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need to make your decision on whether Anaheim is your next place to call home. First, let's talk about finding the right neighborhood. Anaheim is such a diverse city, but it has something for everyone. Let's start with Anaheim Hills. So if you're looking for a more suburban area with really great schools, mountain views, then Anaheim Hills might be your spot. It's family friendly and offers plenty of outdoor activities, but on the flip side, this community won't offer the same downtown lifestyle and conveniences that you're going to get from living in the city center of Anaheim. So speaking of city center, let's talk about downtown Anaheim. For those who love being in the heart of the action, having that city feel, being walkable, the downtown Anaheim area offers all of that and more. <laughs> so it's, it's got a, a vibrant nightlife, it's got trendy restaurants, very diverse food, it has a historic district, honestly, and so much more. Downtown Anaheim is going to have plenty to offer. And on top of that, we know how close it is to Disneyland and its convenient location near freeways to get around Orange County, even getting into LA or inland, so much easier. It's very centrally located. Next, we can talk about West Anaheim. This is kind of a, a bigger portion of Anaheim and we're gonna lump in a little bit more of like the Anaheim Resort area, which is closer to Disneyland. This is a little bit more of an affordable area that has a mix of single family homes, some commercial spaces and businesses, but it makes up a lot of the single family homes that we have here in Anaheim. So this is a great spot if you're a first time home buyer and you're looking to find that nice starter home. You can also find some condos here as well. And there's also some neighborhoods that are so close to Disneyland that you can even walk there. So if that's important, then maybe look into those areas. And you're also conveniently located to freeways as well, like the five. And so that's gonna make transportation a lot easier, especially being on the west side, you're gonna be a little bit closer to LA, so a slightly shorter drive if that's what your commute looks like. If you wanna be in the heart of all the entertainment and sports, then maybe living in the Platinum Triangle is gonna be better suited for you. So this is more of a mix of mid-rise condos and apartment style condominiums, and also quite a few um, rentals as well, so apartments. And this part is located right near Angel Stadium and the Honda Center, and is actually not too far from the Block of Orange, just on the next city over. The Platinum Triangle is also very conveniently located if you have to take public transportation. This is also where the Arctic Station is, where you can take the Metrolink Pacific Surfliner. It's also conveniently located to the 57 Freeway, the 5 Freeway, and the 22 Freeway. So you've got lots of different access points to get you anywhere. Lastly, this is going to be the home of Anaheim's $4 billion project, the OC Vibe. Real quick, if you're stuck between choosing to move to Anaheim or Anaheim Hills, watch this video where I talk about just that. The next part might be crucial to you, and that's understanding the cost of living when moving to a new city. Let's talk housing, of course. The median home price in Anaheim is around $870,000 and medium rent for all bedroom sizes is about $3,700 a month. Um, for a one bedroom, you're gonna get probably around $2,000. If you want a nicer one bedroom apartment, you can expect to pay closer to three grand for that. For utilities, you can expect to pay, and obviously, depending on how much you use your utilities, about $150 to $200 a month, which would include your electricity, water and your garbage. And if you want to know more about the cost of living of living here in Anaheim, that was a lot of livings, check out my cost of living video. 
talking about groceries and gas now, groceries, <laughs> groceries are slightly above the national average, um, but pretty on par, and gas prices are still kind of hovering in the mid $4 a gallon. So we knew that gas was expensive, though this is California. <laughs> But I would say Anaheim is pretty on par with the rest of Orange County in terms of cost of goods. However, housing is more affordable here than in many of the other areas in Orange County. But wait, if you're looking to move to Anaheim and still have questions or need more info about the city, you can contact me through my Calendly link in the description below and I'd love to chat with you. If you have kids and education in schools is a high priority, then perhaps Anaheim Hills might be the better choice. It is known for its top rated schools in the whole city. Um, however, Anaheim itself, definitely do your research on some of the schools because some schools throughout the city have special programs that you can't get anywhere else. For example, one of the elementary schools here, Thomas Jefferson, has the first Korean language immersion program here in Orange County. And I have heard that people from even Irvine send their kids to go to this school so that they can be in that program. And I've heard amazing things about it from neighbors. But of course, make sure that you do your research on schools if that is the top priority for you. If access to good healthcare is essential for you, then I think we've got your answer here. We've got a couple of great hospitals. We have the Anaheim Regional Medical Center, as well as the brand new Kaiser Permanente in Anaheim off the 91 freeway. They completely rebuilt this hospital and it is very, very well done as opposed to the other one that was like sinking into the ground. So you've got a safe building. <laughs> anyway, next uh, we could talk about more clinics that are in Anaheim and there's a numerous amount of clinics and specialized medical facilities throughout the entire city. Okay, I know we're talking about healthcare and all of that, but I hope you all are healthy and happy and living your best life. And that's also why you're watching this video so you can live your best life here in Anaheim. So thanks for watching. All right, well, let's, let's get to the next subject here. Let's talk about transportation. Transportation in Anaheim is very convenient. It's super easy to get around town and well, pretty much anywhere from here. Let's talk about it. First, let's talk about the Anaheim Regional Transportation Intermodal Center, the Arctic. <laughs> the Arctic Station, it connects you with buses, trains, shuttles to get you anywhere. This is where you can hop on the Pacific Surfliner to take you up and down the coast. Um, you could take the Metrolink and to LA, pretty much anywhere you want to go, you can, there's a hub here basically. Anaheim also has the FRAN, which this is something I use Hello. quite often. FRAN literally stands for free rides around the neighborhood. I've totally talked about this one before, but it is absolutely free. Um, the catch is around the neighborhood means downtown Anaheim. So there's plenty of stops within downtown Anaheim, but if you aren't around the area, you're not really gonna utilize it as much. Although it is great if you're going to the Packing House, Center Street, maybe Pearson Park. Again, it takes you to a lot of different locations here in downtown Anaheim. Another perk that Anaheim has for transportation is the Eve bus. That means everyone ventures everywhere. And that is a bus that can pick you up on demand and pick you up from Anaheim downtown to John Wayne Airport. So that's another great convenience that we have here and it's only $15 each way. One of my favorite parts about living in Anaheim is how convenient it is to pretty much get anywhere when you're driving in a car, which most of us do. So you've got the five freeway, the 91, the 57, the 22 freeway. You've got all these freeways that are gonna make it super convenient to commute. And also the streets make sense here and they're all <laughs> vertical and horizontal and it all makes sense. It's all in a grid. I guess the last mode of transportation would be biking or walking. While not all the streets have bike lanes, there is definitely a bike lane if you're gonna take the river trail through the Anaheim Coves, which you could take all the way to the beach if you'd like. And walking, there's definitely better walkable neighborhoods. And of course, I'm going to talk about downtown Anaheim again, because it is super walkable and very convenient. So if that is something that is important to you, then look into downtown Anaheim. Now let's talk about what Anaheim is really known for, and that's its attractions and activities. 
obviously you know we have Disneyland. And if you know me, well, you know I'm a huge fan. But <laughs> this is also the real reason Anaheim is so amazing because there are so many things going on outside of Disney, such as concerts in the park, car shows, angel games, ducks games, farmer's market. There's so much more here. So if you like to take walks, there's also a ton of parks here in Anaheim. And Toby and I have pretty much hit up all of them, but I'm super grateful to have that here in Anaheim. So you can even feed the ducks at the park at Pearson Park. It's so cute. And well, speaking of ducks, uh, Anaheim is getting a $4 billion development called the OC Vibe, right where Honda Center, where the ducks play. Um, that's gonna basically make Anaheim the new downtown of all of Orange County. I kid you not when I say this, I'm so excited for this to be done. So they're gonna be building restaurants, hotels, concert space, trails, walking areas. I mean, you, you name it, it's gonna be here. So if you wanna know more about the OC Vibe, what it is, when it's gonna to come to fruition, be sure to check out my video here on the OC Vibe. So there you have it, the ultimate guide for moving to Anaheim, California. I don't know why I'm saying that. So if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the latest insider information about living your best life here in Anaheim. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.